And now, our feature presentation. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to our special edition of Joseph Stalin, Dictator of the Soviet Union. How can one person influence Europe more than any other? Stay tuned to find out. Joseph Stalin! The Dictator. Communism. Joseph Stalin was born into poverty, like any typical Soviet Union farmer, in Georgia. His father was an alcoholic and his mother was a maid. For five years, Joseph Stalin studied at the Eastern Orthodox Theological School in Georgia. But soon after, he left home and studied at the Theological School in the city of Tiflis. After his revolutionary activities were discovered, Stalin was expelled from the seminary. During exile in 1903, Stalin met Lenin and Trotsky in the Russian Social Democratic Labor Party. He joined the Bolsheviks in opposition to Kerensky. After Lenin refused to accept Kerensky's government, he urged the Bolshevik revolutionaries to pull down the government. Lenin led the revolutionaries to Petrograd to form the new authority. After Lenin's death, Stalin took over by removing Trotsky from power. Following Trotsky's exile, Stalin introduced the five-year plan to removing Lenin's new economic policy. Stalin focused on heavy industry to set the foundations of the Soviet Union. His focal point resided on spreading socialism. This included where the Soviet leadership consolidated individual land to increase the food supply for urban population, the supply of raw materials for processing industry, and agricultural exports. In order for Stalin to remain in power, he took out government officials and military advisors in the Great Purges. During the Great Purge, Stalin also had show trials. Defendants were charged with conspiring with Western powers to assassinate Stalin and other Soviet leaders, dismember the Soviet Union, and restore capitalism. Through these trials, Stalin was able to remove other powers. Stalin was able to make defendants comply to these charges in an open trial due to a series of threats. If the defendant refused to go on trial and accept the charges put against him or her, they were banished to Siberia and their families were murdered. Stalin also instituted labor camps. The combination of endemic violence, extreme climate, hard labor, meager food rations, and unsanitary conditions led to extremely high death rates in the camps. There is an estimated 62 million people who died in labor camps. During the Great Patriotic War, or World War II, the Battle of Stalingrad was a major turning point in which Nazi Germany and its allies fought against the Soviet Union. It took place August 23, 1942. The heavy losses inflicted on the German army make it arguably the most strategically significant moment of the war. Stalin was so dead set on spreading communism throughout the Soviet Union that he also spread it through Eastern Europe. Because Stalin was dissatisfied with Tito, in 1948 he denounced Tito as a heretic and called on Yugoslavia's Communist Party to oust him. Tito's communist revolutionary ideas led him to liberate Yugoslavia from Stalin's communist control. 
Yugoslavia's independent communism became an influential model in world politics. As Stalin spread communism through the Eastern European states, he also sent a wave of fear to the United States. It's called the Red Scare. Not only did Stalin impact the politics, the economy, and the social order of the Soviet Union, but he also influenced the entire world. Stalin, 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 Stalin,